Hello, my name is Ian McCall and this is a video from the Dermoscopy Made Simple series on the element Structureless. Structureless is one of the five elements in Harold Kittler's diagnostic uh, algorithm. If you look at it and go stepwise through his diagnostic algorithm, remember lines come first um, and you get your various lines reticular, lines curved, uh, lines branched, you have lines peripheral and uh, you actually have white lines uh, as well in the center of a lesion. And if you don't find any lines, then you look for pseudopods. And then if you don't find any pseudopods, you look for circles, and then clods, and then dots. And if none of those are present, then you end up with structureless. Um, but of course, structureless is the least specific of the various elements in the uh, in Kitlerian diagnosis. That's the one with the greatest range of differential diagnoses. Let's just have a little look at them. You know, we go with structureless color. Um, black, brown, peripheral, blue, red, blue, white, white. And pink should be in there as well, because sometimes pink structureless is uh, a feature of uh, amelanotic melanoma. And we'll show some of these shortly. So, what have I said there? The important structureless colors are white for dermatofibroma. They're easy to see. And also you get a bit of regression and scarring. Blue for a blue nevus because it's uh, uh, so uniform normally. I've said watch brown peripheral for melanoma and BCC. And then various shades of pink structureless can be a feature of a melanotic melanoma. Let's have a look at the types. This is blue structureless. It's obviously fairly easy to uh, see this one. Let me just make it a touch bigger. Note there is no network there. It's a uniform dark blue color. So blue structureless filling the whole of the lesion with no network. Uh, then this is a blue nevus. Let's pop back and have a look at the others. What other blue ones do we have? We've talked to BCC, we've talked that melanoma may be blue as well. Okay, this is uh, a gentleman's temple. Let's see if we can make that just a little bit smaller first. I think we're still too big. Now, in this particular case, here's the clinical lesion here. Eyebrow, scalp margin. You have this blue color, and you have a bit of pink below it. When you look at it with the dermatoscope, you've got blue-white or blue-gray structureless. And with blue-gray structureless, um, you've got to consider a melanoma metastasis, but also consider uh, a, a melanoma itself, primary, a BCC, a blue nevus. Remember fawn bodies and old hemorrhage, they can still give a picture that's like this. Um, in this as well, if you look carefully, there's some little grey dots there as well. And there's this pink structure, this area next to it. Um, this, in fact, was a melanoma metastasis. So, blue-grey structureless, melanoma metastasis, melanoma, BCC, blue nevus, foreign body, and perhaps old hemorrhage. What about this one? Here's another where, let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger because there are elements of blue in this I wanted to show you. Okay, let's go to that uh, level here. If you look at this lesion, you'll see these blue-white structures here. That's a bluish change. Now, this is due to thick uh, orthokeratosis um, in a seborrheic keratosis, you get a lot of epidermal hyperplasia and it will give that sort of picture. So you can get blue-white structureless in very thick, dark seborrheic keratosis. You can see clinically how dark this lesion was. So what's the others that we have? Those are the main blue ones that I wanted to show. I should have put in uh, perhaps a thick um, Basal, pigmented basal cell skin cancer as well, because sometimes they can be um, very uniformly blue. 
Now, next group I want to look at, let's look at some of the white ones. White structure, this core, and this area around about it can be either lines reticular or it can be brown circles. Um, but in this case, it's difficult to say looking here. Uh, I think there are some lines reticular if we enlarge this. But this is basically a dermatofibroma with a white structureless central core. Other things can give uh, a white uh, a white structureless core. Um, let's have a look here. The metafibroma we just said, a scar, uh, part of a morphe BCC can give you that picture. A molluscum, molluscum contagiosum, can give you that white core. An accessory nipple can look very like a molluscum. And some sebaceous uh, tumors aren't so much uh, yellow as white. So they're worth considering if you're looking at a white structure in this area. But the metafibroma is the one you're going to see most. What about blue or uh, black structureless? Well, this one here again um, is mainly blue-gray. Look at the blue-gray color that you're seeing uh, here. This was an invasive uh, melanoma. Again, remember those differentials. Blue nevus, ECC, thick seborrheic keratosis. Superficially, you might look at this and think that there are some elements here that suggest uh, uh, seborrheic keratosis. But there are some dot vessels uh, within this. You don't usually see those in seborrheic keratosis. They're usually hairpin or looped vessels. Let's have a look at this one. Here's a black structureless uh, area. This is the clinical here. This was a black structure this, of a nodular melanoma. Black structure this can be seen in a variety of things. Bald hemorrhage is probably the commonest cause of uh, black structure this. Thrombosed lesions, some nevi, melanoma, and certainly some seborrheic keratosis. So, old hemorrhage, thrombosed lesions, nevus, melanoma, and SEPK. So here's another black structureless. This is on the sole of the foot. It's very solitary, this lesion, and yet when you look at it with the dermatoscope, you've got this black structureless area here, and this was hemorrhage, old hemorrhage, old subcorneal hemorrhage. And of course, if you take a blade and trim that, it will all just disappear. So black structureless due to old hemorrhage, thrombosed hemangioma, and nevus, melanoma, or seborrheic keratosis. Wide lot of differentials in the structureless uh, element. And then, last one I wanted to talk about was pink structureless. Now, pink structureless may be uh, a feature of an amelanotic melanoma. Um, usually, if you look in the, what's allegedly the structure of this area, you'll see some blood vessels. And if you see polymorphic blood vessels associated with some dot vessels, then it's likely to be, in fact, a melanoma, a demelanotic one. This, in fact, was a desmoplastic melanoma. So in an amelanotic melanoma, there's different shades of pink, and this can be quite helpful as well. I think Scott Menzies um, regards these different shades of pink as being a good marker for melanoma. But I always like seeing some polymorphic vessels with dot vessels to uh, help me in making that clinical diagnosis. So structureless, there's a variety of uh, different colors that we have to look at. The white structures, the manifibroma is probably the easiest. The blue-white uh, areas in some thickish melanomas also uh, are something you have to be aware of. And black structure, let's remember old hemorrhage when it's on the, on the sole of the foot. And also the blue structure, so the blue nevus, BCC, melanoma, foreign body, and old hemorrhage. We'll see some examples of these when we come to the clinical uh, sections of uh, dermoscopy made simple later on. So that's a quick overview of structureless. Thank you very much.